this is what would Josh do. This video is about titanium backup. You have an Android phone or device, period, per per period. If it's rooted, this is an app you cannot go without. So you've gotten four on Angry Birds. You've gotten three stars on all the maps. And you couldn't imagine having to redo it all over again. Well, if your phone ever crashed, you'd be screwed. That's not the case. Open up the market. Search for titanium backup. You can use the free one for now. The free one will let you back up your whole entire phone with just one button. But I'm going to show you what the free one will not do. It's going to ask for root. You allow it. And every time there's an update, it shows a little change log to show you what all's updated. Pretty neat. Here we go. If your SD card ever crashes, you can enable Dropbox Pro version, and it syncs all your stuff to your Dropbox. So if your SD card ever crashes, you're okay. If you get another SD card, you're okay. It will download all that stuff and sync it. We're going to go to Batch. Back up all user apps and system data. You'll want to do this if you've never done it before. And then you click run. And it will back everything up with just one click. See, it just backed up Angry Birds. That's a rather large app. And here it's backing up the internet browser, so all your bookmarks are backed up and safe. Back up all user apps and system data. Basically, it backs up all the Wi-Fi access points you've connected to. It backs up all of your Gmail accounts that are on your phone or Google accounts, period. Your lock screen code, your ringtone settings. It just backs up your entire phone. That's a really funny app. I recommend people trying that out. See? All your access points you've connected to. Backup and restoring should be faster with the Pro version. There's a lot of neat little features in here, such as modified data. Basically, if you got a little bit further in Angry Birds, and you run that, it will detect that the data has changed, and it will back that up as well. And you can choose restoring all your stuff. You can move all the stuff to your SD card here. I've never used Freeze to Frost. I don't know what Remove Orphan Data is. Never used that. This is a big one I use on a lot of people's phones when I first root it and install Titanium Backup. You go on here, and red apps mean they're system apps. And sometimes you'll see some red apps that you do not want. Like, for instance, the flashlight plug -in. If you do not want the flashlight, you can remove that. If you have, like a Samsung phone, you probably have a Bejewel demo, and it'll be red, meaning normally you can't uninstall it. It's locked. It keeps you from uninstalling it from the phone. But with this, it doesn't matter. You check it. And I'm going to warn you... This process can be very dangerous, so make sure you hit this first. And then go through and check each thing that you want gone. If it's got a check mark next to it, it means it's going to be removed. Okay, so you see that I've gotten progress in Angry Birds. Let's pretend something happened to my phone and now it's gone. Go back to the market. I love how fast this phone is. Everything installs and downloads really quickly. Okay, you've noticed that all these are now locked. And I have to go through, and I have to work my way back up to where I was. That is not the case. All I have to do is relaunch Titania Backup, Backup and Restore, click Edit Filters, type in Angry, and there's Angry Birds. And here's all your options. I want to restore my old one. Here it asks you whether you want just the data, meaning your game save from before, the app only, which means you don't get your data back, or the app and the data. Since the app is installed right now, all we need to do is hit data only. Now we can go to Angry Birds. Look at that, all my stuff is back. All my stuff. This is not locked. You do not have to worry about losing anything. For example, all the words you've had custom saved in your phone, like all those add-on keyboards from the market, or even the stock one that comes with this. Swipe is a good example. Once you type a word, you can click on it and it will save it. And this will back up all the stuff that has been saved. Now here's the biggest difference between the free version and the pro version in my eyes. I gotta clear my filters or it won't bring up everything. You've just installed a ROM. Your phone is wiped clean. 
All these right here will have a dash through it, meaning it's on your SD card, but not on your phone. Menu, batch, restore missing apps with data, restore all system data, restore missing apps. I'll click this one. And here you go through and you check which ones you want and which ones you don't want. It's safe to leave all these checked. Now, if you're going from one version of Android to the other, I do not recommend restoring system data, as that can cause problems. So if you're moving from one ROM to another, or from one version of Android to another, I would not recommend doing that. I would just back out and go to restore all apps with data. Run batch operation. Here's the catch. Each and every time, you're going to have to click install. And then done. Install. And then done. Install. I don't think it made me earlier because it was system data. Done. Install. Done. You get the catch. 155 more things I gotta do that to. That's not cool at all. And this was the biggest reason I did not use Titania Backup. I would back everything up and I would restore apps as I needed them, not my entire phone. I have taken my license and backed it up. Cut, back, and then paste. It still thinks I'm using the free version, but I got a menu, more, market auto updates. Sorry, this is for the donate version, which is the pro version. Alright, so now we're in more, reload application. See, all I needed was my text file in the root directory of my SD card, and it knows I have the pro version. Now I can go to more, market auto updates, and everything that's set to not automatically update will not have a check next to it. You'll click select all and then set auto updates configuration. And now everything will automatically update in the market. Here's the biggest difference between the free version and the pro version in my eyes and probably a lot of people's eyes. You saw installing each app one by one was kind of annoying and I don't know about you but it got me to the point where I was only restoring apps I really needed. Restore missing apps and system data. And watch this. I'm going to hit run. Now each thing is going to silently install itself without you doing anything. You can leave your phone alone for a minute or two, come back, and everything will be restored. All your Wi-Fi access points, all your accounts you had on your phone. It force closes each app that it's backing up, and the market was running, so it's force closing the app. It can't back up an app while it's running. Here's a link to his Twitter. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Thank you very much, Attenian Backup.